If you are looking for how Portland came to be, you first have to look across the river to Fort Vancouver. Fort Vancouver was the first major settlement in the Northwest. It could also be viewed as the ultimate company town that was the capital of its own nation. It existed for one reason, to make money for the shareholders of the British Hudson Bay Company, and it primarily made this money in the fur trade. When Portland was just a clearing along the banks of the Willamette, Fort Vancouver was viewed by one visitor as the New York City of the West. Today you can visit a replica of the original fort. It is a place to learn about the early fur trade and about a key starting point to the settlement of what was the Oregon country. Today's Fort Vancouver is a recreation of the 1845 fort. It is part of the National Park Service Fort Vancouver National Historic Site. The original fort burnt down in 1866 while the soldiers of the U.S. Army looked on and cheered. Only some of the buildings from the 1845 fort have been recreated and they sit on the archaeologically excavated locations of the original foundations. The reconstructed buildings along with the palisade wall and the bastion give a good idea of what the original fort would have been like. The historically accurate recreated buildings of the original Fort Vancouver that you can visit are the Chief Factor's residence, the kitchen, the bakehouse, the blacksmith shop, the dispensary and Indian trade shop, the fur warehouse, the carpenter shop, the counting house, the jail, and the bastion. Some of the buildings, like the blacksmith shop and carpenter shop, at time have volunteer recreators in them to show and tell you about what was done in these buildings. The National Park Service charges a small admission fee to visit. There are no public guided tours of the fort, so you are on your own to explore. 